Parasitology is a critical field of biology that involves the study of parasites and their hosts. It also involves the study of the relationship between them. This branch of science covers a wide range of organisms including protozoa, helminths and arthropods. For example, ticks and mites which can live on or inside another organism which is host in this case and benefit at the host's expense. The next question is why parasitology is important. The first reason is human health. Many parasites cause significant diseases in humans such as malaria and toxoplasmosis. Understanding the biology and life cycle of these parasites can lead to better prevention and treatment strategies against these diseases. This area of parasitology is also called medical parasitology where we study the medical importance of parasites. For example, the plasmodium parasite which causes malaria and it is the focus of medical parasitology due to its significant impact on human health. The next scope is in veterinary medicine. Parasites not only target humans but also affect animals, impacting livestock and pets. This can have economic consequences and affect food security. Our pets are like our family members, therefore we need to understand the diseases that affect our pets or the animals that are in close association with humans. Therefore studying veterinary parasitology is highly important. We can take the example of parasite Toxoplasma gondii, commonly found in cats and it can pose serious health risks to both cats as well as humans. Emphasizing the importance of studying veterinary parasitology for the well-being of pets and their owners. Another aspect of parasitology is ecology and evolution. Parasites, they play key roles in our ecosystem and have profound impacts on the evolution of their hosts. Studying these interactions can provide useful insights into natural balance and biodiversity of our ecosystem. We can take the example of parasitic roundworm and its host, which is dog. They are known to influence each other's evolution. Understanding this can help us understand the molecular pathways that plays a key role in understanding the host-parasite interactions. Let's take a look at the career options available in parasitology. The first opportunity is the research scientists. They conduct fundamental research in universities, government institutions or private labs. The work done by them could involve discovering new parasites, developing new treatments or studying host-parasite interactions. Okay, let's talk about the second option. The second option is clinical parasitologists. They work in hospitals or diagnostic labs, identifying and studying the parasites that can cause diseases in humans. This role is critical for accurate diagnosis and treatment of parasitic infections. The next option that you have is veterinary parasitologists. As discussed before, they focus on the parasites that affect animals, work in veterinary clinics, research institutes or agriculture settings to improve human health and prevent parasitic diseases. Let's talk about another opportunity which is as an epidemiologist. They study the distribution and determinants of parasitic diseases in populations. They work for public health organizations to develop strategies for controlling and preventing outbreaks of parasitic infections. Another key opportunity is as public health officer. PHO or public health officer develop and implement health policies related to parasitic infections. They work with government and non-government organizations to manage public health programs. Next opportunity is as the pharmaceutical researcher. They work in the pharmaceutical industry to develop new drugs and treatments for parasitic infections. This role often involves the collaboration with multidisciplinary teams such as chemists, biologists or biotechnologists, microbiologists, computer scientists to find the drugs responsible to cure the infection. And one of the most important opportunity is as an academic professor. They teach and conduct research at universities, inspire and train the next generation of scientists while contributing to the scientific community through the research work that they do in their labs. Another opportunity is as a wildlife parasitologist. They study the impact of parasites on wildlife populations and ecosystems. They work with the conservation organizations, research institute or government agencies to understand the parasitic diseases and the host parasite interactions. These are some of the opportunities that are available in the area of parasitology. If you are really interested in parasitology, what you need to do is to identify a parasitic disease that interests you, research on its life cycle and how it affects its host and current methods of treatments as well as prevention. What gaps do you find in the existing knowledge? 
This will help you to understand parasitology in more detail. The next step to follow is to join a parasitology society or attend conferences. Many organizations, they offer memberships which can provide access to latest research and networking opportunities with professionals in the area who are working in the area of parasitology. You can also look for internships or volunteer opportunities in the labs as well as in public health organizations or veterinary clinics. Practical experience is invaluable when it comes to parasitology and it can help you determine which aspect of parasitology excites you the most. You need to understand this parasitology is a dynamic and impactful field with the significant implications for health, ecology and biology. Whether you are drawn to any professional work including research, clinical work, public health or teaching, parasitology can offer diverse and rewarding career paths. By exploring this field, you contribute to a better understanding of complex biological interactions and help address some of the world's most important or critical health challenges. Alright, this was all about the parasitology. What is parasitology? What are the different aspects of parasitology? And what are the career paths that you can follow after studying parasitology?